All right, here goes the test drive. It goes. If you have a busted CV axle, sometimes they don't go. Ryan's Mobile One. So to trail fix it, just get rid of the extra axle that's slopping around at stuff. That needs to be in to hold the wheel hub bearing assembly together. And then just plug this in, even if it's with the other thing, and just eliminate the middle shaft. And you can drive it on the trailer or drive it home if you've got it in four or low with the locker. I'll Did do it? that next time. <laughs> I'm going to have a spare axle, spare belt. No, you just need, a hacksaw. You just need a hacksaw blade. Hacksaw blade. <laughs> and then just cut off the floppy yeah. bit and you're done. So we're working on a Wildcat 4X. Uh, it's Textron now. Yeah, it's 19 millimeter to pull the wheel off. What we're doing is we're replacing the CV axle. It is out of failure, and so rather than not being able to use it, if you pull a boot from one side and then plug it with a cap plug, that's right, cap plug, it's a cap and it's a plug, aptly named, uh, you can still use it if you have the locker on. There's a few specialty tools that you'll need, including a roll pin punch set. We'll give you a link in the description for that if you click the show more. We can pull the wheel off. This is the uh, keeper. You can see how that goes over the nut and prevents the nut from coming off. We'll be pulling these bolts for the caliper to get that off. Um, we got to pull this off in order to get the rotor and all that off. Once we do that, then we can get to this bottom one. Everything comes off. All four links come off except for this one stays on. All the rest of these top two, they match, so you pull them off. And then we got to get the beefy one at the bottom. So this one here is a 30 millimeter right there. Um, so we'll go ahead and zip that off. Using the Milwaukee Fuel Impact. Again, I'll put the link in the description. These are all really nice tools to have it make your life so much easier, make the jobs go so much better. You guys have seen Jeff before. Jeff's Hi guys. here. Uh, <laughs> it's actually his machine we're working on today. Now we need a 10 millimeter so that we can get on the back side here. to know what to pace yourself when you're doing that huh when the camera's on it's like should i hurry or am i burning up <laughs> am i gonna break it or <laughs> <laughs> is it looking right is it gonna go right yeah okay let's set that off to the side we've already pulled this before so that came real easy we had a discrepancy with this where it kind of like puked out the side we won't say how that happened but uh, apparently if you get rowdy with these things they wear prematurely we'll just leave it at that that's probably good. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, we had another axle that was ordered in that was for the 2X and not the 4X. This is a four-seater. I'm guessing that's what the 4X is all about. We had one where it was only splined halfway. If you run into it where yours is splined halfway and you don't need it, that's a 2X, 4X thing. You're welcome. That caused a little confusion in this one. So we're going to pull the two upper control rods. It's a 13 millimeter half inch on the small side and on the inside that's a large nut, it's a 15 millimeter. Look at him. He's got all of his parts all neat and set aside. As I learned as, that from somebody. Oh, did you? <laughs> as long as there's no cats coming through swatting at him, we'll be in great shape. So these are free. Pull this one out too while we're at it. Yeah. That one I believe was 14, but I bet it's 15. Oh, that's 14. 14, 14 and a half, whatever it takes. 38, 39, whatever it took. It was that Mr. Mom, wasn't Mr. Mom, it? Mr. Mom, yeah. <laughs> and the whole thing that we're doing, the reason why we're taking all of this apart is so we can get this out far enough to be able to get the axle into this end and at the same time get it into that end. Otherwise, it's kind of a fight. The best thing to do is to put it in here first, put a little grease on it where the seal's gonna be. And it's also got a little clip on the end, we're gonna grease that. But before we do any of that, we need to get going on this. So once all the other ones are off, this'll tilt and it'll give you access to where you can get to that roll pin. So you can see that it's angled through this way. The key with these roll pin punches is you just line them up as straight as you can and then just give her. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> all, right. all right. I believe this one is also 30 millimeter. This won't come all the way off. It just comes just enough to get it off. That's good. And you can just even leave it. I think you can leave it on there. So it just comes to a no you gotta pull it off well oh. the nut this yeah. only comes that far oh, what i'm saying is it won't come all the way off it just comes just enough that if you bend the end of the axle and just kink it sideways 
and then tuck it across where it's low right here you can get it in so we'll pull our cap plug that was easy and we already greased the snot out of that you see the splining there's a little groove right there and that's where the little clip expands into and that's what holds it in when you go to pull the old one out um, you see our marks right here where we put our uh, gear wrench indexing pry bar again I'll leave a link in the description those things are a lifesaver just put it in there and just pop it if you grease this up and then grease where the seal is uh, especially on this front shoulder then you won't tear the seal as it goes in there's just a little rubber seal there this one's like clear up in there yeah you don't want to mess that up it looks like it'd be expensive and hard to replace there's seals that are like five ten bucks you're used to and there's like these 30 50 dollar seals that's what this looks like this is way too much by the way uh, what the grease does is it makes that ring float in the middle some of these will be loose some will be a little more tight some you can rattle up and down and if they hang down then they block to where the splines can't get through I just kind of go around like this and make sure that it's sitting in the middle there you go that's efficient Excellent. you take it and you basically use it like a slide hammer so you come in from the end and just be real gentle going in be nice to her, pretend it's like the honeymoon or something. There we go. And twist it until you index. And then left hand holds the end in place. Right hand, you should see this expand and contract. Pull it back and just pull cue it in there. But make sure that you're really straight when you do. If that's not straight, lift it up just a little. There you go. Right there. Eight ball corner pocket. Just like that. You can take uh, whatever grease is left on your fingers and put it on here and that will help prevent corrosion and wear. We actually had a Lexus where the splines wore out and we had to replace the axle. Pull this back, kink it in, and you just guide, hold on, you just guide that we pull the spindle. So if you pull the bottom out and you kink it, see it's just barely, barely <laughs> enough to get it in. But it is like that. So you gotta be careful with your threads. You don't want to chew it up. Can you help with the spindle just a little bit longer? There we go. And that's how you get the axle in. That is the whole magic. That's the whole job right there. Assembly is reverse of disassembly. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> now we'll walk you through it. At this point, you can put it together or anything you want. I like to do the bottom nut that we just did, but it's literally just reverse of assembly. You just gotta make sure that you line that up so that your pin can get in. But you think you can't get it, and you can't get it, but you can. And if you had to, you can undo this and make it super easy. This is just the, the mechanic get it done, flag some hours method. Now hold on, hold on. Where are we at? We just passed. Uh, so you're doing reverse. Yeah, you don't want to over tighten that or else you can create trouble in the joint. That's That'll work right there. Yeah. When you go back on the second time, it'll it'll be easy. Roll pin goes in the top. So next thing we can do the top part or yeah, probably the top part's the best. Even better. Okay, now we're gonna have a little conflict with the brakes unless we oh, yeah. handle that now. Put it so. on the right side. That's probably yeah. good, right? There's a lot of little things that you can do to make it easier and there's a lot of little things you can do to mess it up. But overall this is a pretty easy job to do. So again 15 millimeter on the back side. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Is this 13 or 14? Uh, this is uh, 13. Half inch. 14? 14. I thought it might be 14. <laughs> How about yeah, this one I've got an eye for detail. If it's 14, you can strip that out. So you, you can start it with it just fine. You just don't want to talk, torque it on it. It's good. You notice that it slows down and then starts to bind. You can check these by hand when you're done. Torque wrench them. But when you're assembling, it's okay to just snug them up like that. As you notice, I push forward on this one. It made that go out. These links get a little tricky, but they're not too bad. Man, we're about done. I feel like uh, I have no hands. One's all greasy and the other's got a <laughs> camera. This is fun. <laughs> the 
these nuts here that they go on hard they're actually knurled so that they don't come off you know like a nylon lock nut but it's just a mechanical hub 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 if you put a little grease on that that's good too but you don't have to all right we got a washer and now the thing you have to watch out about these is that ring has a very particular setting on it. Basically the washer, gravity was pulling it down and we were hitting the washer without getting in the middle of it. So when you get close right you got to give it a little wiggle. Take it the right. Good call. Good thing. I think I've done it. this before. Yeah. We had a practice run with the wrong part. <laughs> so with this we got that uh, plate that goes <clears throat> over the lug nuts to check it. Yeah. So a good idea is to just kind of see where you're at once you get there and obviously you can't go on so rotate it a quarter turn and see just the plate sometimes you get lucky but most of the time you'll have to dink around with it a little bit looks like we have go, to go... go another quarter turn and see if it gets mm, closer Maybe. but not all the way cool yeah just give a little bump Ooh, so close. Which way? I've got to go back about 16th. <laughs> Is it in reverse? Mind if I try? Yeah, go ahead. I probably overdid it, but... But you get special points because you did it with one hand. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Some people accuse me of having done stuff like this before. Let's put the uh, caliper on next. With oh, it's probably going to millimeter. Do <laughs> We've got these bolts. They've got some blue Loctite on them. Shake it up. There we go. Let's give them a little pig roll in the mud. And they're good. You let them sit for a second, that's ideal, but no big deal. Done. Try to put this on the bolts and it's just like, I don't know, this stuff gets chunky. Seems to work better for me when I do it this way. Wipe your nose. And then I use a T-pin because the lid always gets clogged up with stuff. So you just stick a T-pin through the crusty part and that works better than anything. You get them started by hand. Start by hand. Awesome, because this is not very thick. If it gets cross-threaded, it would be sad. More downtime, shipping time. Look at that, we're done. Let's throw a wheel back on it. <laughs> Check the torch. Most everything is the kind of nuts and the kind of bolts and the kind of Loctite to where it doesn't really matter and the roll pins hold it in place. You see all the grease from the old CV axle that kind of puked around. That must have been some exciting riding to have that happen. That must have been some epic fun it was stuff. Epic. Yeah. <laughs> Did your blood move? A little bit. <laughs> Did I, uh, your adrenaline turn on? You know, the funny thing is they say things really go to a slower, and they really do. Yeah. I felt like I was just being rotated in slow motion. <laughs> and I was like looking down at the crowd and go, no. no. <laughs> Well, your inner child's not dead yet. Congratulations. No, I'm, I'm a 12 year old at heart. <laughs> That's so. the idea, man. They say that, you know, when you're young, you get good ideas, you have more imagination. They just kind of educate it out of you as you go through the school system. <laughs> what does Robin Williams say? He said, the famous comedian, he says, uh, we're only born with a little, a little uh, bit of crazy, so don't waste it. Or don't let it die, or something like that. I'll put, a, I'll put it right there. That's how it goes. These wheels make it hard to get down all the way, so you gotta be really gingerly right here because you can only get down so far. If you press too far, you get this stuck down between. No yeah. fun. Seems like some different lug nuts would be in order. Something smaller diameter with the yeah. key. So are you doing star passing or are you doing... Uh, did. Board? Okay, gotcha. Just curious. <laughs> yeah, don't do it like this. Do it star passing. <laughs> Awesome thing about having Brian as a friend, garage and tool <laughs> access expertise, crappy thing, to put you on the internet, like not a star pattern as an example for others. Put my to brace learn. face on there. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So this was not a cap plug. This was like a cork off of a fuel pump or something. Yeah, but it was just, it's the one that fit, it fit yeah. great. So it totally did. Multi use. So in case you guys don't know me. Yeah, what I like to do is anything with a plug or a cap, I don't care what it is, I stick it in, you know, like one of these big Costco things. I think these braided pretzels or whatever, my wife loves them. 
just keep them in there. I've got the little ones that are in this one, and then the bigger ones that are in there. That way, waste not, want not. Don't throw them away, you'll use them. Bonus footage at the end. Hey, what do you see? Can you see the whole world? Yeah. Where is it? Um. Not fun. Yeah. Two, three. Behind the shooter. Shooter. Holstered or down low? It's gonna be low. It's gonna be holstered. I don't blame Holstered you. or low? Holstered. 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 Okay. Holstered. I'll tap you when we're done. Second tap me you on stand the go. behind me. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everybody else heard me say tap me on the go. I misunderstood. <laughs> I was like, why would I want to hit you on your GoPro? <laughs> it's all right. All right. Ready to play?